if you are on the road, if you're on the road and you need to write something and you see me, just be like, hey, I'm black. Like, Hi guys and welcome to Inside of My Car. I don't mind doing this video, you know why? Because I'm in the AC. I love being in the AC. You know what? You know what I just really want to say? I really want to say, behind every bad bitch is a car seat. Wah! Hi guys, hi and welcome to my YouTube channel, Jody and Tricky. I'm half of the duo, I am Jody, and today I'm going to be showing you some of the necessary things I need to have in my car. So. I guess about a year ago I showed you um, what I need to have in my car trunk and I showed you my organizer but that didn't include the things that I need and need to keep handy um, on reach in the front of the car so let's get started I have a list okay first up I don't want my camera to drop because if it drops I don't know what will happen but oh, you might be able to see it so right here maybe I could take it off one of the things I absolutely need and actually I think I did one of the things, and I did mention this in the video that I did with my car trunk, but I honestly use this every single day, every time I drive. So I just, um, the, well this thing here for the car, the headrest, put this around here, lock it in, right? And then I hang my bag. So I have this, the hook forward. And as I get into the car, I just hook my bag on it. And I keep two just in case, you know, um, I have like grocery bags or some other bags. And then the really cool part about this, is that the back flips out so that if I swing this around to the back this is now a phone holder so the kids can keep quiet I just think this is absolutely amazing it's all-in-one and I really really love it so yeah next thing I have to have I don't know I have a, I have this thing where everything needs to smell nice and good so whenever I'm like cashing out at the pharmacy or the supermarket and I see these I always pick them up I have to have my car air freshener my car does have to smell good <laughs> I knew that would happen, you know, I knew that would happen. All right, we're gonna film like this so that my camera doesn't drop, but yet I'm in the center of the frame. Oh, no, we got a gangster lean, we drive with a gangster lean. Oh, here looking good. Okay, next, actually the lean next to look slimmer. Oh, let me see if I can go back. Okay, that works. Oh, I have to reach again. All right, the next thing that I need, my emergency tool. Now I did have this in my trunk and then I started thinking about it and I was like, if I fall into the gorge or some body of water, ah! I'm not gonna have time to unbuckle my seatbelt because apparently if your seatbelt gets wet in these like, what you call these kind of cars with all of the, the, the touch button screen, like very high tech cars, like once it, the seatbelt touches water, you actually get locked in and you'd need to cut yourself out. So I moved this tool from the organizer in my trunk to right in the glove compartment here. So on this side, I can, cut the seat belt and on this side I just tap the glass and I break the glass because with these seats here I can't usually did you know that if you pull in some cars when you pull the headrest off the headrest the bottom of the headrest looks like this and you can use it to break your window but my headrests don't come off and I've tried so just a peace of mind I keep this right up here with me in the front um, in my glove box so that if anything happens god forbid you know, I'm, I'm prepared. Next thing I always have, reaching again. Oh, I have two of them. Tissues. I always have to have tissues in my car because my sister sits in the front seat and her eye is always leaking. Like it's, it's not tear, she's not crying, but her eye just leaks. It's very strange. And then you have kids, so, or sorry, I have kids. So, you know, the booger nose and they're always crying and they need like tissue all the time. And Oh. Next thing that I have that I just recently got and I don't know why it took me so long to get one is a sunglasses holder for my visor. So what I used to do is every time I took on and off my glasses I would reach down to the little cubby that I have here and I would take my glasses out the case and then I would put them back or I'd leave them here or all over the place and it was just such a pain in the butt. So now I have my um, glasses holder on the visor and the interior of my car is black as you see so I got a black glasses case. So it kind of just matches up here and how do I have this a while ago? Oh yeah. Don't look under my arm, I need to walk. And so I just reach out for my glasses and I just like put them on. I don't want to mess up my makeup. But I keep glasses for a really, really long time, eh? I've had these for a long time. 
Like, you know, some people, all right, my husband, he loves glasses and he goes through a lot of them. Me, I've had those glasses for over two years. Anyway, next thing that I need, oh, my courtesy caddy. So behind my chair, I actually just got a new, a smaller one. Let me just take it off. Jeez, um, peace. Oh. oh. So I call this my little courtesy caddy. And um, when I put the kids in the car, there's certain things that I need to access quickly so that I can help them quickly when I pick them up from school. So there's a little trash can in here, some insect repellent. So if I'm dropping them at school and it's a little mosquito way out, I just spray them. And I let them know that this is mosquito repellent and not hand sanitizer. And I tell them all kind of things like it's poisonous, it tastes bad. It's, you know, we'll just don't touch it. Um, I also have kids disposable masks. I need to get a couple more um, just in here in case I've forgotten to put Levi's mask in his school bag or they need a mask randomly. I just keep masks in there. Oh, this is a little hand sanitizer. Levi and I we were doing a little activity one day and we just, these things came on Amazon and he just stuck stickers on them. Gum, keep them quiet. Gotta have some candy in the car. Some little um, baby Garnix alcohol-free foaming hand sanitizer. Um, I just keep that in there as well. At one point, I bought like a case of these. Would I buy it again? Um, not unless they were really cheap. It, it, this brand is good, but more tissues and a spray hand sanitizer that I got out here. And then, oh, what else? Oh, M&Ms. Lad, these are supposed to be really stuck together. And then right in the front, I have some wet wipes here because Remy, she love a wipe. And because I'm crazy, I'm just gonna take a minute and put everything back nice and neatly how it was because that will give me um, anxiety. And then this little cat is just nice and cute and I kind of like that it had this stripe here. Kind of looked like I had a Gucci cat there. But I didn't know Gucci, it was like $20. So it's little and cute. Um, I did have a seat back protector, which was a full one with multiple pockets. And then I just found it, it took up so much space back there and the things were too like easy for Remy to reach. So every time I turn around back there, she have tissue party, she have fling around sanitizer, anything she could reach. Like, and then I'd find things to put in the pockets. You know what I mean? So there would be a tissue box, there'd be wet wipes. And then she would just go crazy and it just worked out to be a little bit too much, especially if Sean was driving my car, then the seat would go back closer to her. Jesus, I'm always mercy, anything she reach. So this is just cute and little bit. Um, if I know Sean's gonna pick up the kids from school, I just quickly take this off um, so that Remy can't reach anything and just have her own way. Um, now in the front of the car, right by my door, I have a garbage can. So the one you saw in this, the caddy here, this one, I used to keep in my door, but it's not the correct size. So every time I would empty the garbage and put it back in, it would scratch my door. So, one second, let me just put this back where it goes. Um, it would just scratch my door and it was looking a little scratched. So I was like, this is not the can for the door. So I got this one, which is really cool. It uh, has a spring-loaded, um, spring-loaded open part there. And then it opens, even more for me to empty and it clicks onto the door or I guess it could clip onto the seat back I don't know I, I prefer this bin way more I love the spray sanitizer this one is by one for all and it just sprays so I can reach back and say hey kids and it just one nice mist and it smells really good and my gum my gum so I used to smoke cigarettes as you guys know and I just find that sometimes if I have like that little you know you just need to have something in your mouth no it's gum is not gonna replace that feel okay I'm just okay so if I feel like you know I'm hungry or if I feel like I'm I don't really crave cigarettes like that in the day. I guess maybe if I'm craving a cigarette or whatever, I just, I just reach for a gum. Um, I always have like a little snack bar or a granola bar in case hunger catch me on the road. Right now I'm an, on a um, very strict diet of no carbs, no sugar. And these are one of the bars that um, are included in my diet that if I need something to hold me over on the road, so I make sure I have one of these with me too. And then lotion, just a little small 
EOS lotion. It, I don't know if this, I don't leave a lotion in my hands anymore when I come in the car because then I lotion my hands and then when I get out at a store, they're going to spray my hand with sanitizer and I just feel like it's going to be just one big slop juice in my hand. What is going on? My car is just going up and down. I have to have a pen. I actually have two pens. No, I have three pens in my car. And then I have two lip balms. There's dry lips under your mask. And then I have this in here. It's one of those vapor pens. Um, this one has a herb in it that if you're feeling hungry, you can vape on this. Um, it's a diet neutral vape. I don't know. It, there's no tobacco in here. It's just for the hand to mouth action. I've had this in here. I don't even know what would happen if um, I used it. It's probably not even good anymore. I hate cars that smell funny. And you have kids, your car smells funny. So I just have some Febreze in here. Uh, travel to go Febreze. And I just spray down the kids and this. It just, it just always come in here smell like, you know, you have to have a gun. I think I confiscated this from Levi one morning, but I have a gun in there. And then I have, oh, an old glasses case and then the glasses that I were wearing. I always have two pairs of glasses in my car. I call one the guest glasses. Simply because every time Tracy comes in here, she's like, with her leaky eyes, she's like, oh, do you, do you have glasses for me? I swear, I swear. And then, oh, something that I got from my Pixie for Christmas, which I really, really love and I waited for. So this is called a seat gap filler. No, there were the um, the seat gaps, like the little containers that you can put your phone in or some water or it also had like a little storage container built in. I find that that did not work so well because it didn't fit snugly in between the seat and it was always sliding. And I had it for a while and although the container part of it was very handy, it, um, it kept sliding so it didn't really do what I needed it to do. So this is just like a foam insert with a space for the seatbelt um, seat poker thing. So if I drop my phone, if I drop some food, it won't go down in between the seats. It will just kind of rest right here. And I think these are great because it helps your car not get as dirty. And, um, come on! It just, it just helps and I, I, I really like it. My masks. Um, I prefer silk masks, so um, when I did my Amazon shopping trip, you'll see and I linked in the video um, for my mulberry silk mask, just so that when I have on makeup, or if I don't have on makeup, it just feels a little softer on my skin and I find that it doesn't wipe off my makeup as easily. So I always have masks up here. Um, one of those are a little dirty, but hey, don't worry about it. I have my phone holder up here that's stuck onto my dash that if I'm, I don't usually film in my car because I think it's dangerous to film while driving, but if I am using, um, what do you call it, Waze or Google Maps, which I use pretty often, I'll stick my phone into my phone holder just so that I can have um, hands-free driving. Um, yeah. You know me, I'm a diet. I have my little fancy water bottle. No, let me tell you something. This water bottle does not hold very much because I accidentally spilled out all the water yesterday and it just took one squeeze out of a mop to clean it up. But it does help me to drink more water throughout the day. So it only holds 16 ounces. And I just put a little lime, a little mint leaf, and a little cucumber in there just to flavor the water because honestly, see, see, see that filler coming in handy. I don't know. I just I, I don't I don't like water. I know I know that sounds very weird to say. Water doesn't have any taste. What do you mean you don't like it? I don't like it. Okay, I don't like it. I don't like water, and I can go days without drinking water, and I didn't die. So you know, but I do realize that it's not very good, and you do need to drink water. Your body needs water, and all of those things that you're gonna say. There's also a lady that walks around in Manor Park, and she will let you know about drinking water and why you need to drink water and how healthy it is and I didn't realize that I think I think something's wrong with her but she caught me in a conversation one day and she let me know she let me have it she let me have it she always has a bottle of water in her hand I've seen her multiple times and if you and if she ever stops to talk to you just nod and walk away she told me off anyway I now drink my water I have a little cubby down here. So that's what I like about this car. It has a lot of different cubbies and compartments. Um, it doesn't matter the brand car. That's really irrelevant here. Um, I did get a car about two years ago and I really do like it. It takes me from here to there. It's very comfortable and um, 
it has a lot of cubbies. So guys, I almost didn't open my secret cubby down there. So this is a charger. So I do have a couple USB ports in my car. But what I love about this charger is I can plug it into my USB port. Look at that. That's that's the distance you're supposed to stay from people when they have corona or even if they don't have corona. Is that six feet? That's not six feet. This is two feet. I think this is two feet or is it three feet? So you have this on a feeted thing. And then on here I have a iPhone charger, a Samsung charger, and the other little charger that's, that people may need. Pull from each end, don't pull from one side. So I just think this is so cool to have in the car if I need to charge my phone, if I go to somebody's house and I need my charger if I'm on the road and you know, I think this is really handy to have. I'm glad I opened this compartment. Now I'm getting into the meat of the matter of things you really need in your car. This you need in your handbag. I just find that this, this is really cool. This is awesome. How could I have forgotten about this? You know why? Because I also have a charger bank thing in my handbag. So I've never, that's a lie. We were driving to the country the other day and I needed my phone charger and it was in the trunk and I needed to charge my phone and I didn't know what to do. So I just didn't use my phone. But now, I'm prepared. Oh yeah, I couldn't use my phone. I was scared that my data would run out and the kids were on my hotspot. You ever drive to the country with two screaming children in the car? Just thinking about it gives me anxiety. Drink water, drink water, drink water, drink water. Water lowers anxiety, the lady said too. Yeah, okay. Woo, wait. All righty, no more anxiety. Next up, I have a roll of tape. So, there were quite a few mornings where I needed tape, whether it was to close an envelope, to tape a little note in Levi's school bag. Um, I just found that there was quite a few times in a row where I needed tape. So I was like, you know what, I'm gonna drop a roll of tape in my car, and I've never regretted it at all, having this tape with me. It's been a part of my car cubby for a while and I suggest you drop a roll of tape in your car cubby as well. Next up, get a bad girl in a ramp with me, me cut you with my box cutter, wash, wash, fruit ninja me name. So this is just a little box cutter and um, when I get my packages from mail pack, I'll use this to open my packages or you know if anybody tries to like romp with me, I'm just gonna like yeah, show them my bad side. Don't play with me. Next up we have a little half packet of tissues finished here. Oh, this was supposed to, so I don't know how my phone thing is sticking on my dash without this. So you're supposed to stick this on your dash just so that the gummy part or the suction part of the phone holder is not on the dashboard which is grainy. So I just keep this in here in case one day my phone thing stops sticking. I got some Jamaican made wet wipes in here. Yo, these supposed to dry out. Yo, the last, when I got this was December 8th, 2000 and, must say 18. So I have a, how do I explain this? A waterless razor. Can you see that? So I guess if I'm heading to the beach and eat, okay, so the mirror in cars, this whatever mirror, all of a sudden you can see things that you never saw before. Like you'll be in your house plucking your eyebrows and you'll be like, oh yeah, looking good. And then you come in your car and you, careful the camera don't drop. You look in here and you're like, oh! What the hell? You know what I think it is? I think it's a lighting. I think it's a lighting and you're just like, what the hell? I don't live anywhere. Like, I thought I plucked my blah, 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 blah. But like, if you're on the way to the beach and then, you know, you're feeling sexy, you know, booze driving you and you cock up your foot on the dashboard and you're like, or worse, you look on your, your bikini line and you're like, which gorilla this? So you just take out your, um, waterless venus razor oh i got this out here actually because this price is in in jamaican so it has like a little it has some gel in here and then i guess a roller pad and then you roll it flip it over and then the other side has a razor so you can get rid of any unwanted hair and i keep this in the car because i figured 
this would be a good place to keep it? No. I feel like as women, we always battle with like hair removal. Like how could this be like an item that I need to have in my car? But having it in my car makes me feel good. It makes me feel like I am prepared to remove hair at any moment in time. Another pen, this is a nice pen. I'm actually gonna take this inside because I already have two pens. And then I have a reusable straw in blue because Levi loves the color blue. It comes with a um, brush to clean and then it's just a telescopic straw, stainless steel straw. I think I forgot I had this in, you know what? I think I, come on man. I think I took this from Levi because he was fooling around with it the other day because he did have a pink one in and he, he mashed it up. Anyway, I have a reusable straw here. In Jamaica, we don't use um, paper straws anymore, so try to get with it. Another pen, I mean, I really don't know what it is that I am constantly writing, but I need four pens in my car. Four pen, no, like. Five pens. I am, I am a writer. I need five pens in my car. I am sitting common entrance or something. I need five pens. All right, I'm going to choose two of the best pens. All right, I've made my decision. I've chosen two of the best pens. All right, you guys have to agree that this is one of the best pens ever made. Especially if it was a fine point, but it's a medium point. Fine point is so hard to find, eh? But anybody who has written with one of these pens, you know what I'm talking about. And then I chose this one. It's like, you know, has like some nice grip. Anyway, back to some regular scheduled programming. I don't even know where I reach by now. But anyway, I have three, four, five pens in my car because writing is, you know what I mean. No, you don't. Okay, and the last thing that I had in my car, Kobe, was so... If I get disarmed from my box cutter, right? And I'm in the battle and they've disarmed me and I'm like, ah, help, help. Pen knife. Yeah. Always have a backup. Yeah. So I have a little pen knife here. My sister-in-law gave me this and I think it's been really handy. So it has a nail file, a little knife, a little scissors and um, a, does it have a light too? Oh, the light dead. And a little light. Um, I think it was more like, I guess again for opening packages, I should really get a new, um, what you call it, um, battery in here, because it had a little light, very cute, it was just to have on the end of your keychain, but um, when she first gave it to me, I was traveling more, remember those days, traveling? <laughs> ah, yeah. Anyway, I had this on my keychain, and then, um, I took it off because I can't go through security with this. Remember security? Cost security, you know, every, every time you're traveling, cost security and you hate them, you know? Right now, I miss all of them. I miss all of them. I miss all of them. All the ladies will say, you, you, you think you're nice? She made me feel a way one morning, you know? Right to Jamaica, Kingston, security. Dress up nice and cute. One like me nice. You feel like you're nice? Miss take off your shoes. I miss her. I miss her. Big up yourself, Madam Security. I miss you. I miss you. Right now, miss you still, yo. All right, let me take my time and put back all of these things that are necessary to me in my vehicle. All right, one of the other things that's really cool, and it has absolutely nothing to do with my car, but I did want to show you because it's just really cool. Another cubby. I think if you made like a car of pockets, I would definitely buy it. Like I just love having all the different compartments and I like putting things in the compartments and feeling good that everything has a home. I feel like, yo, I'm, yo, I feel like I need to be on medication. No, no, I can be happy. I'm, I'm a cool girl. I'm a cool girl. I'm cool. I'm cool. So are you ready for this? Dun, 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 dun. So this is, I waited such a long time for this. It's a, a joke, it's not a harmonica. So this is called a key port slide. And what it is, it's a key holder. So you have these little buttons. You can, you can, um, we call it personalize yours. So mine is pink and I have three buttons on one side, three buttons on the other. And when you slide it up, 
up slides. So this one here, I remember I personalized mine. I have a jump drive. I have a key for, I don't know where that's for, a pen. And then I have like my front door key, my grill gate key, and my whatever key. So these things here are colored. So the pink one is my front door key. And then if I ever go to a party ever again, and I'm out and I need to put this in my bag, if I ever go to parties again. This just fits so neatly in my bag and it has all my keys. Um, you can like, you can build your own key port. So the sides here that are black, you can actually have other things built onto here. Um, you can have, what did they have? They had a flashlight. This is really cool. I just think this is so cool. I waited a long time for this because um, when I was living at my other house, I didn't want to have the keys cut for this and then I have to like get them cut again or order more keys. So you just order, when you order it, you order blades and then you take your blades to your um, local, um, what's, what are they called? Excuse me. Um, what are the, locksmith. You take it to your local locksmith and then the locksmith will cut the key for you and then you just assemble your key port and you're good to go. They have different colors. It's really, really cool. I really love mine. And then, yeah. So yeah. That is the last cool thing I have in my car. That's it. That's it. That's all, folks. Does anybody want a pen? Anybody? Anybody at all? You know, because if you are on the road, if you're on the road and you need to write something and you see me, just be like, hey, I'm like, all right. So let me just look at my list and make sure I told you all the things. I told you all the things in my car that make it comfortable for my ride so I hope that you saw one or two things that you thought were cool or one or two things that made you think and you're like yo I've never really thought of having tape in my car she really put a roll of tape in my car just little things that I think are really helpful for the day-to-day -day running rolling of my vehicle <laughs> Cheese on peace. Corny, corny, corny. Anyway, guys, that's it for this week's video. I hope that you enjoyed, and I will see you soon. Bye! Hey.